So the first television show I want to talk about today is She-Hulk. The Hulk is, everyone knows who the Hulk is. It's the green superhero. Well, a peripheral character in the comic book series is the girl version of the Hulk, a woman who has the same superpowers as the Hulk. She is also green. I think it's supposed to be his cousin who gets contaminated with his blood or however it works in superhero world. I'm not going to sit here and pretend to you that I am a superhero or Marvel junkie. I'm not. I'm truly not. I am familiar, however, with the character of the Hulk. So the She-Hulk is the girl version. And there's a new a new series on Disney Plus that shows how the She-Hulk came to be, just like there's a show for every part of this whole universe, which I got to tell you guys, I don't fully understand, like I said. Okay, so this show just debuted, and it's not that it's organically popular yet. I think it's probably too soon to tell whether it's a good show or a bad show, even for those people who are really into comic book series or the Marvel universe. But the reason that it's going viral online is because the She-Hulk is very woke, very, very woke. She's obviously a feminist, and she this this particular clip that went viral is a 30 second clip where the hulk is expressing some skepticism about whether the she hulk will be capable of the job because the hulk says one of the primary things that i've had to learn is how to control my anger how to control and properly order this power that i have and the she hulk goes like total bitter feminist man-hater on the Hulk and claims that she actually controls her anger more often than the Hulk because men mistreat her all the time. This is the clip that went viral all over social media. Here's the thing, Bruce. I'm great at controlling my anger. Mm. I do it all the time. When I'm catcalled in the street, when incompetent men explain my own area of expertise to me, I do it pretty much every day because if I don't, I will get called emotional or difficult or might just literally get murdered. So I'm an expert at controlling my anger because I do it infinitely more than you. I do it infinitely more than you. She looks like a little constipated toddler. I don't get this. This is not my experience as a woman. I do not live my life thinking of myself as a victim. I'm not a victim. I don't live my life bitter against men, even if even if there's been a man here and there who is rude or impolite to me. Honestly, in my experience in life, the people who are the rudest to me have been other women, not men. I don't understand living your life <laughs> acting like you are you are living under a repressive regime, this this patriarchy, cat called in the scr- in the street. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Why are you still thinking about it? It's disrespectful. So you teach your sons not to do that. And you try to eliminate that behavior by by, well, by doing that by passing on to the next generation, training the next generation not to behave that way. Mansplaining? Really? You have this uncontrollable anger because some man tried to explain your expertise. You know what? If someone mansplains to you, You just sit there, you ignore them, and then you do your job so excellently that no one remembers the loser that was rude to you. (laughs) Just do your job. I don't, I don't understand this. And she's so, I mean, talk about hyperbole. If I, if I call anyone out, I will be called emotional difficult, or I will be literally murdered. Oh, will you, will you be literally murdered? Literally murdered. Fun fact, not fun fact, actually, it's a gruesome fact. If you look at the total murder rate in our nation, The vast majority of murder victims in our country are men, not women. Yet we hear this, we hear this trope from feminists that women are more likely to be the victims of intimate partner violence. And that itself is true. And it's bad. I'm not saying that that's anything that can be justified. It's not. But in the whole big zoomed out picture here, men are much more likely to be murdered than women. So there's not some like male privilege involved here. Uh, Literally murdered, she said, if I, if I, contradict someone that's mansplaining me. Please, girl, please. 